backyard wrestling. No apologies, no, I suck cause I'm not sorry. You can all sue me. Y'all could be the cause of me. No apologies. Y'all yeah, feel the force of me. No remorse for me. Like it wasn't we lost for me. No apologies. That's not the machine. Stand on his back. Like it's like damn. Number one contender with me. And let me capture the Genesis The American Angelo made his debut at Beat the Machine. And tonight he faces a game returning to Mr. Gallery, who will become the number one contender of the Wild West Championship. And after months of back and forth shenanigans, Halen Wright and Bulldozer finally square off in a hardcore crutch. And after making his shocking CW debut as Beat the Machine, ATK will be in action. And in our main event, Big Man Camp looks to finally get his hands on Jay Ellis as he defends the critical heavyweight championship. Who will walk out with the championship and with the victories and more CWs? No apologies. I got in a match approved between me and you and Holden and a mystery tag partner, so he can find whoever he wants, but... Oh, really? Yeah. So no matter what, we're going to beat him, but... Yeah, I got that approved earlier. Sounds like a good deal, man. That's awesome. So that would be a good match. Yeah. I look forward to working with you, man. Time to finally give him some payback. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies welcome gentlemen, back to CBW. My name is Mags Mickelson, and we are here at No Apologies. And as you hear the ring announcer stating, this is going to be a Genesis Championship match. Normally, this is where I would throw it over to my broadcast colleague, the Monster Jacoby. But as we just saw, he's got some matches to be planning, and with him being a competitor now, it kind of makes it hard for him to be in the booth. So, ladies and gentlemen, my new broadcast colleague, Jay. J.D. McDonough? Jacob. Jacob McDonough. Sorry, I, I get my McDonough's confused <laughs> these days. It's all right. A lot, of people, you know, a lot of people get my name mixed up. Sometimes I get my own name mixed up. Are you going to be just as special as Alan was? Probably. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, let that not take away from what we've got going on in the ring tonight. Remy Ravage, Captain Law, Genesis Championship. Remy Ravage finally getting her shot at the Genesis Championship after having earned this title opportunity over three months ago in a triple threat match. And her Very opponent, and he is the CBW Genesis Champion from Indianapolis, Indiana, the Lord of the Land, It's the first championship since, I mean, technically he won the Wild West title, but this is his first singles championship since the merger of CBW becoming critical from chaos. All right. I think we're going to see some chaos here tonight. We're going to let the chaos reign? Yep. Anyway, uh, we got to see if Captain Law can conquer them all here tonight against Remy Ravage and retain the Genesis Championship in his first yeah! defense. Do you, do you see Captain Law walking out with the title here tonight? It really all depends how this match goes. If Captain Law can utilize his size and strength against Remy Ravage, I see Captain Law walking out. But if Remy Ravage can use her speed to wear down the wall of the land, I think we could see a new champion here tonight. I mean, honestly, I got to give the advantage to Law here. I mean, this is a new era for him. He's turned a new leaf. He stopped doing things as Shady started doing things a little more by the book. And honestly, I think he's going to walk away with retaining the Genesis Championship tonight. We'll have to see how this match plays out as Law grabs Remy's jacket. He's putting it on. I didn't think that would fit. I'm not going to lie, it looks pretty good on 
A little small. What do y'all think? It looks good on me? Hell yeah! Yeah! It's not bad, I like it. It, It's a good looking jacket. I don't understand. I don't don't wear a jacket right now. Maybe it could be mind games. I mean, they did call him the Midwest Mastermind. But, nonetheless, Law gonna throw the, the vest out and get into his corner. Admonishing Peter? Festus for uh, you, not doing sir. the checks. Uh, you never know. One of these two could be. I am not a cheater, Festus. A you know what I am, Festus? You're a good guy. I'm a good guy. Bullshit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not checking the arm that doesn't have a sleeve or anything on it. Of course, I have it. Good guy. Festus. Festus. Since it was funny to make fun Festus of the game. So long. <laughs> I mean, he's been right. he's been involved with wrestling since the dinosaurs were walking ready? the earth. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Ready? You're asking how big a dinosaur's Bring package is. He will tell you. <laughs> but as the bell sounds, and these two are now trying to hype up the crowd. They're in the opening moments, now I believe we're gonna get a lock up, and we do. And who do you think this favors here in the opening moments? Yeah. As these two grapple. Honestly, while Law wrestling, has Remy in the side headlock, the, the technical chain wrestling is a specialty of Remy. As you see her fight out and try to go for a roll-up, but Law sinks his body weight down. Then he instantly goes right into that rear naked choke. Quick thinking by Remy Ravage. And again, you had you had Law scouting the roll-up, able to drop his body weight down, but that didn't really help him. But there's the size and power as Law stands up with Remy on his back and just falls out with Remy squishing her into the canvas. Goes in for the early cover and a near fall here in the early goings of this contest. Very interesting to see that we already get a two count. But again, all that weight on Law crushing Remy Ravage. And Law trying to let Remy back to her feet here, which, I mean, it's a sign of respect between the two, but that may not bode well for Law. Especially after what happened in the semifinals of the Genesis Championship Tournament back at Elden Pot. I guess a former ally, Aaron Blaze. Doing a little bit of homework here, I see. Welcome, welcome aboard, welcome aboard. <clears throat> Gonna go for the test of strength, and there's, there's Vintage Law faking out the test of strength. And the, and the crowd beater. gets a woman beater chant going. Yeah. Woman beater. Woman beater. Just like the oh, I think this is going to hurt. Law saying he doesn't beat women, but he like sure is going to chop one. Yeah. Chop him, though. <laughs> I think I saw the nipple fly. He just said he saw a nipple fly. A nipple fly slipping. Oh. <laughs> now splash in the corner. Usually he goes for the bulldog here. Well, wait a minute. A huge yeah. suplex by Captain Law. Beautiful uh, suplex by Law it there. Be enough here. Uh, He's taking his time going to the cover. And Remy kicks out at two. And him taking his time there may have given Remy the opening she needed to kick out. And once again, Law goes back into the side headlock. Yeah. Looking to wear yeah. Remy down. Like Wrestling! I said, Wrestling! Wearing me down, uh, no. not in allowing her to not use her speed and quickness and agility, which we know Remy has. Oh, and a jawbreaker by Remy Ravage. Easy way to get out, and a beautiful roundhouse kick of sorts there. You get a replay on that. And here we see that beautiful combination again, chin breaker. Flipping over into that kick, catching Law square on the jaw and takes him down. And we're back from replay here, and Remy is gonna drag Law to the edge of the ring here. I feel like I know what she's going for here. Spin cycle! Oh, wow! Beautiful spin cycle senton. Law gets the road. He kind of had to figure that Law was going to grab the bottom rope. I mean, he was right there by it. Yeah. At least the referee saw it. <laughs> Could have just not seen it. Remy going to shove Law into the corner. Uh, a feat of strength. Forearms now. This is vintage Remy Ravage. Flying forearm. There it is. 
Lions follows it up with the Bulldog. Law eating nothing but canvas there. I'm sure that canvas is hot. Oh my god! Standing moonsault from Remy Ravage goes in for the pin. Law! Roll up! Roll up! That could be it! No. Remy kicks out and grabs the rope. Gonna try and roll back over on Law there. Oh, a side headlock. Back to the wrestling, back to the ground game. Something Remy is very accomplished at. Apparently we're seeing a little bit of ground game work from Law here. Something you don't normally see. Very interesting. Remy's got that side headlock locked in. But Law fighting back here a little bit with oh, a, a back, back suplex. suplex. Not a side suplex. Back suplex. <laughs> Two. Back suplex. Not a sidewalk. Not a sidewalk. This might work some people, I believe. <laughs> Law now pulling Remy into position. This is normally where he'd go for that big boy senton. Crowd's asking Law for a flip. And oh my god, a rolling senton on Remy Ravage from the Law! <laughs> Pulling his pants down in the process. I've never done this to Thank God he has a flip. <laughs> I have no clue if it'll work. But does everyone like to take a trip to Dixie? And uh, is this... No, no, no. Taking a trip to Di oh, Dixie? Does that even... Does that even work on a woman? Uh, the, the elbow drop works. Yeah, that does. I mean... Just blast it up. I've seen low blows on women get called for a DQ. It's not a low blow. It's a Dixie. It's not a low blow. Fair enough. But still, I've, I've seen low blows work. If Jeff Hardy can let dro leg drop people in between the, the groin, we can get the And of course, we got Dixie. American Angelo head boy square in the knockers. In the American Angelos. In the baseballs. <laughs> anyway, we're enough talking about America's favorite pastime. Law has Remy in the corner. And here's that, that more maniacal side of Law starting to come out. Oh, boy. Are we about to see a big boy splash? Oh no! He's out of the way! And there's that forearm again! Standing for him, it looks like Remy's. Is she gonna go for a soup? No! What is this? Tornado DDT! Wow! They're pulling him away from the ropes, it's smart! The voice crack. And a kick out of two. And that was almost it. You have more voice cracks than Jacoby going through puberty. Well, you see, my balls dropped a long time ago. Well, either way, that Tornado DDT I thought was going to be it. I have more voice uh, cracks to make the grips that Remy has in her uh, uh, Remy picking Law up. Could be looking for the R2 to put it away here. It's over. R2, Remy Ravage. Law spins out, though. Has, has her position. Long arm of the Law! That could be it! One, That's it! Two, three! It's over! Law retains! Law able to retain the Genesis Championship against a very game Remy Ravage. Take nothing away from Remy in that match. You cannot take anything away from Remy. You can't take anything away from Law either. I have not... This is probably the cleanest victory Law's had in a long time. And a show of... Sportsmanship from Law. Definitely something weird. Law giving the respect to Remy Ravage that Remy rightfully deserves for that match. Obviously, there is no bad blood between these two. These two are friends, and hell, Remy Ravage is the one that gave the Genesis Championship match to Law last show when Scotty told him to pick. Scotty told her to pick his opponent. And congratulations to Wall on retaining the Genesis Championship. And we have more action for you here tonight. At No Apologies, our next matchup tonight is going to be that hardcore grudge match between Bulldozer and Halen Wright. It's been Obviously, critical. What? And normally we'd have gone to a commercial cut there, but... It seems as if we're going to get straight into this. Law and Dozer coming face to face. Oh, hey! What the hell? You bastard! 
Come on. Those are blindsiding come on, law. Come on, come on, make a match, dude. Come on. And this, no, no, hey, what do you expect from you the guy that's match. running around with Scotty Matthews? I mean, you're, oh, I thought he was about to go backstage. Go backstage and redo his <laughs> Come on. Bashing oh, one over God. the head with the come belt. On, come on. And I think it's pretty clear what uh, Bulldozer's intentions are. I feel like he's got his eye on that Genesis Championship now. Maybe bring it back to the, the I guess for lack of a better term, family there. He definitely has his eyes on it, but he just smashed it in between Law's eyes. Now they're helping Law to the back. Festa's going to carry Law back here. As we get ready for Dozer's opponent to come out here. Right. And obviously these two have no love loss between one another. I mean, these two have been back and forth for months now. Starting all the way back at Bound for Destiny when it was an impromptu match. Both of those men added on the card last minute. And the match ended in a double knockout at the end of the match, with Bulldozer attacking Halen after the match. Yeah, and then I believe these two had a match at. Where's Faded your Dreams. pictures? I believe it was Faded Dreams. Uh, but either way, this one's a hardcore match. It's the only time these two have competed in a hardcore match against one another. It's a grudge match, and obviously Dozer has a the wild card of Scotty Matthews on the outside. Oh yeah, so we definitely know this isn't gonna go well for Galen unless he can find an equalizer. I mean, Scotty's putting all of the equalizers in the ring. Scotty has a team set up the ringside already. I hope Scotty. Either Scotty or Duke. Or just put them both. Double suplex, brother. <laughs> but anyway, honestly, the, the powerhouse of Bulldozer may bode him well in this hardcore match. I mean, especially using those weapons. He's going to have a heavy advantage over Halo Wright. Someone get this guy out of here. Now we're bringing more weapons in the ring. Oh, and here we go! Oh, right to the kneecap. Those Muay Thai sticks. I don't know what they're actually called, but I assume they're used in Muay Thai, considering that's the uh, the martial art choice of the They're called a stick that hurts. And he's playing drums on his ass. It's the stick of Nick. The stick of Nick. He's laying into him with those Muay Thai staffs. It smacks him in the ass. Beat him like a rat, a stepchild. Give him the beating that he should have gotten as a child. Grab the stop sign. Now, again, just beating him with the sticks. Just really laying in those, uh, laying in those rods on the leg there, working on the ankle. Trying to take the legs out of the dozer early. Like, almost got him in a cross face of sorts. Oh, the dozer gets out of it. What is that? Is that a deer antler? It is. It's a deer antler. He was fucking shanking him with it. Who shot that one? Probably dozer. He is the blue collar badass. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh boy. Uh, somewhere Jimmy's ha somewhere there's a Jimmy happy. Oh yeah. Ball's on the court. Hit him harder. The 
you're causing quite the racket here tonight at No Apologies. No comment. Oh, right to the midsection, right into the ribs. And a billy club. He's got one of those old school billy clubs. Law would be proud. Are we just quoting? <laughs> yeah. Those are rolling, hailing it over for the cover. First pinfall attempt of this match. Shoulder's still up. Festus not going to go for the count. Good officiating on Festus' part there. You can definitely tell he's been hanging out with Scotty. Because he doesn't even know how to put both shoulders in there. Oh! He's got the Billy Club again. And now Halen whacking Billy or Bulldozer on the back. <laughs> Billy Bulldozer, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! That's his new name now. Uh, he's got a stop sign. He's gonna wrap it over his head. Oh my god! Cracked him right in the chrome dome. Erasing what is left in his dome, as you say. Oh, he got the tennis racket. Oh! He should have done it! Just clock this man already. Oh, come on! Somebody get Scotty come out of here. Come on! Yes! Oh! Sledgehammer over the face of Scotty, and Scotty just went through the come table! Come on, Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Two! No! Two. Two. I thought that was it right there, but thank it's God so Scotty got his come up in. No, he come up. He come up in the table. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, with the stop sign. He told him to hold. And again, smack shooting with that stop sign. Seems to be the weapon of choice. There's a street somewhere that is just littered with no signs. Empty, empty, empty posts. What has Dozer got in the bag? Oh my god, he just dumped out a bag of leather straps. Oh, this is about to be I don't think there's any pleasure in this, except for maybe Dozer. Oh, no. oh my god! Whipping that man like a government mule. Whoop his ass, literally! Oh my god. Some of my ancestors are rolling in their graves right now. Oh god. Roll into the outside. He's got a cookie sheet. Oh my god, just hit him with the bag. Did he just hit him with a cough bag? Yes. Did he really expect that to work? Should have threw it over his head. I mean, it's hardcore. The ref can't do anything about it. I get nervous when I see cloth bags. I expect snakes. <laughs> oh no, he's got an old beaten bat. That steel wow. bat. Batter up! Oh! Putting that bat right in the gut and over the back. The medical team got Scotty Matthews oh boy. out of here. Here it comes! Oh! <sighs> Hit the ring post in the bat and the whip and just the splash damage from it. I'm losing my words. And now choking him! He's choking him! <laughs> Dozer may be in trouble now. And another letter strap coming into play. And whips him in. And getting payback. It's really putting those lashes in. Where did Scotty go? The medical team took him out. Oh, a kendo stick. Halen throwing Whoa, Dozer boy. back into the ring here. That's a grudge match. No, pinfalls must happen in the ring. Thanks for the clarification. This isn't a violent solution match. 
where pinfalls can happen anywhere. Is that another stop sign? That's a mini stop sign! It all hits them with that giant pan. That is a lot harder than a cookie sheet and it will hurt more. What is this? Oh, what a stomp oh, onto the pan! Oh, oh. Do a set time. Oh. And another one. Oh. Just grinding that pan in the oh. sternum. Not the fun kind of grinding either. I'm gonna need to get you a censorship oh. budget. <laughs> Those are just not staying down here tonight. Never noticed that Halen looks like a piece of cotton. Candy. You know what? That was a beautiful splash from Dozer. Goes in for the pin and a near fall. I'm beginning to wonder why we signed. <laughs> I bring the entertainment factor. Do you get paid for this, by the way? Because I don't get paid. I don't get paid. They stopped paying me when they ran out of popcorn I in the break room. I never got paid. Oh, well, that makes sense. I was enslaved. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Dozer has that tennis racket wedged in the corner and throws oh him head God. first into the tennis racket. He's on wobbly lay and he just collapsed. Now what's he going for? That was corny. There's enough weapons in the ring. That was corny. That was corny. Not for him, there's not. <laughs> nope. Grabbing the kendo stick. And I think we're gonna get some more lashes. Gozer wants to put Halen away once and for all. You may never see Halen in a CBW ring again after this. This keeps up. and drops the leg. Brother, brother. Brother, brother, brother. I mean, he doesn't have the golden shovel, so we can't necessarily bury him. No, but we had the golden bat earlier. Oh, that is true. Well, that's just a concussion. Kick his ass, eh? Hey, a concussion can take you out, too. Bro. I know from experience, I got hit in the head one time. Ah. So this is why you are. No, I am the way I am because of trauma. Emotional trauma, not physical trauma. But anyway, enough about us. Back to the match. Halen once again choking the life out of Dozer here with his wrist tape. Why did he just keep on him until he passes out? And then roll him in the ring and go for the cover. Where, where is he going now? This isn't a parking lot bra. Oh, no, he's, off, he's got his boot. Oh, come on. Halen was stuck in a boot for a little bit. And now he's gonna beat him with the boot. Wait a minute. Is that barbed wire? He's got barbed wire wrapped around the boot. Grind him in the face. And there he goes. And that barbed wire can cut skin. It can open you up. Tear flesh. Sent back into the ring and goes for the cover. One, two, two. And a kick out. And again, Halen Wright has to be wondering what he's got to do to oh, be able to put Bulldozer away. Got the golden bat, the golden dented bat. And back to the stop sign. Oh, he's putting it into the corner. This whoever run goes into that stop sign is not gonna end well for them. And it looks like it's gonna be Dozer that's going into that stop sign. Oh, no, 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 no. oh god! Oh, oh, full Nelson! Oh, and he's got the great line. This may be it. Oh, he's got the. Oh no! He threw the bully club by accident. Tried to grab for anything he couldn't attack. Bulldozer's victorious. You gotta be shitting me. You suck.
Smoke. Bulldozer Smoke. getting the victory on Halen Wright in, in what was a hard fought matchup. Can't take anything away from Halen Wright in this match. He tried. But Bulldozer finally putting away Halen Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not all. We have more action coming for you here on CBW No Apology. Everybody here in CBW has been getting opportunities. Everybody but Trey Mysticality. And yeah, I know I've missed a few shows, and I apologize for that. But the opportunities that I'm not getting end tonight. You see, I'm not going to miss the second biggest show of the year, Royal Decree. And I'm going to get a championship opportunity. And by doing that, I'm going to defeat the number one contender for the Wild West Championship tonight. And gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what a night no apologies has been thus far. Yeah, we've only got a five check to see if any that's going to get us taken down the flag. But let that not take away from what we've got going on here. A rare occurrence here in CBW as we have a tag team match. Leia, who thinks in this match? Getting ready to find out who his, uh, his tag team mystery partner. tag team partner is. Oh, you guys are in trouble now. Well, somebody's not going to be happy. The 24 7 Wild West champion, Jason X. Different Jason. And before you think it's a different Jason, it's a different Jason, Jason than that. Himself, but what about the other Jason? He is the this is Jason. Four seven, Wild West champion. I have a head Jason. There's a multiverse of Jason in the wrestling world. Okay, we we have. Can we ours. get a Jason Battle Royal? Shut up. Just shut up. Before people get ideas and want things to happen that are impossible to have happen. Turn the no, it's monster. But we know this match. This matchup was made earlier tonight at the beginning of the show. The monster Jacoby getting this match approved. Obviously, his father is the general manager. But that's neither here nor there. We love to see the monster Jacoby in action, stepping off of the broadcast table, having saved Gavin Graves last show from getting absolutely What do you do, Pip Squeak? Get out of my way! Shit! I, I quit. <laughs> I don't go here anymore. I don't get paid. Me either. I'm still forced to come here. Hi, ladies. Yeah. And Either way, he's just standing there. He's just standing there. <laughs> Menacingly. But either way, the monster Jacoby making his official CBW debut in ring here tonight. And then mm, Jacoby's no slouch. I mean, you look at JWF, that man has pulled through the roster over there, even beating guys such as Law himself. The Jacoby Wrestling Federation. Sorry, I don't get Wi-Fi under the rock. You can find that over on the XCW All Access channel. 
better. He's better than y'all combined. Maybe after like he's finally, my homie. Hey, maybe you know, he's like, the one who stopped you from, you know, torturing. Cody Wrestling Federation. But that's neither here nor there. The Monster Jacoby tag team action here tonight. I don't. I didn't know you back then. <laughs> and the bell's been rung. Looks like this match is going to get underway. We got Holden and Gavin starting off here with collar and elbow tie up. Holden going to push Gavin off and pushes him into his own oh, corner. Wow. It's not super smart there. Beautiful strike combination there. Hooks the arm over. What a suplex. His tailbone's going to feel that one tomorrow. This match starting out hot and heavy. Holden throwing Gavin to the outside of the ring. And who do you think this faster pace uh, is more in favor of? I really think it's more in favor of Holden. Well, I'm um, just going to shoot the hell up now. Obviously, these two got to be careful not to get disqualified on the outside of the ring, spiking his head. Spiking his head into the ground. And obviously, we know Holt Holloway has been doing things a little bit fishy lately. Last show was told if he did anything suspect in the match, he would be fine and suspended. He waited until after the match, hence why he wasn't fine and suspended. Hence why he's here tonight. It was after the match, though. He held true to his word. He didn't try and cheat during the match. It's only illegal if it happens during the match and the ref sees it. I mean, this is wrestling, so no crime is really a crime. Gavin a throw, holding off with a clothesline there. Get a cover. And a kick out. And we get a replay on that clothesline there. Normally in these matches, you'd see more frequent tags, but it doesn't seem like Jason is really interested in tagging that. Not at all, and a great blind ankle lock there. I think he's going to need to stay I mean, normally he would have picked anybody else, but I mean, Jason X is a champion after all, and if you want someone on your side, it's a champion. 24 7 Wild West champion. Well, the Genesis champion was already in a match, in a match and the critical heavyweight champion in the main yeah. event tonight here against Jay Ellis. Oh, and into the steel post. Oh, and able to... Oh, and an up and over. Beautiful shot there. And Wait, Jason. I think Jason tagged in. Look at this guy. Yes, he did. Big boom. Boop. I didn't even see Which is dead. I mean, oh, oh my god! Oh god, what is Jason looking for now? Another big boot, and this one takes him down. And Bob took himself down. That's this a little late on the cover. And now he's Jason taking no time going back on the attack after the kick out. That's the scary part about Jason. Just gonna choke Gavin in the corner here. Oh, and needed to the midsection. Oh no. Oh no. DDT! Spiking him on the head. Man, the mask didn't pop off this time. You're right. You get a beautiful DDT there. Got to see it again in replay. Now it's Jason. Look at the hallway! Hold over. Quick roll up pin there. Oh my god! Glancing swinging punch there. I just knocked his lights out. Come on, put him down. Going for a choke slam. Oh, an elbow! Gavin able to turn it over into an arm ringer. Really wrenching that shoulder blade. Could pop the arm of Jason X out of socket here. Yes. Jason, X taps out, I'm out of Jason trying to roll through and pick the rope. leg. I think he was just trying to get back to get to the rope. She's successfully accomplished. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh no! Switching our camera angles here. Oh! Huge suplex. He's dead. Both men are down here. And now, Jacoby Jason Trump. and Gavin crawling to their partners, and the tag's been made to hold in, and the tag to Jacoby, here comes the monster! Close and he's one. fired up! Close line. Third one, no, hold in, blocks it, cuts the hot tag off, throws Ga Jacoby back into the corner with Gavin. Jacoby's back in the ring. Back out of the ring, I should say. Well, that baby. Watch one of them, now Watch one of them. Back to getting holding and distracting the ref, telling the ref there was someone coming out of the crowd. Oh God! What are they planning here? Oh no! Oh my God! Gavin ducks out of the way of the flamethrower. There, stuffs in, holding deep for the grave digger. Grave digger! Oh no! Jacoby going to the top. He tags in. Jacoby could be looking for that coup de gras. The cover. One, two, three! Jacoby and Gavin with the win! Here is your winner! What a debut for this young man here in Critical Backyard Wrestling! What a win for Gavin Graves! And ladies and gentlemen, Jacoby very happy with his win there, stepping out of the ring. But is he? He's eyeballing the 24 7 champion as we get a replay here on that coup de gras. Beautiful way to end this matchup. One, two, three. Again, Jacoby getting the win, and he's got the 24-7 champion in hand. Oh, no. Jacoby's called enough 24-7 championship matches at this point. He knows when the prime opportunity is for the title. Rolls into the ring. One, two. two. Jacoby wins the title. We have a new 24-7 champion on his debut. 24-7. Jacoby getting two victories in his debut here tonight. The wow. Monster, Jacoby. Jacoby's Jacoby. running away. Jacoby's out of here, ladies and tonight with big man cam and you know what i'm gonna have that match and i'm gonna beat him for that belt because i'm tired of him ducking me tonight's my night that i'm gonna be the critical backyard world heavyweight champion one way or another if you show up you show up if you don't the ref's just gonna count to 10 money in the bag for me i ain't gotta do shit for the rest of the night so just know i'm winning uh, and ladies and gentlemen, back from our commercial break, we have ourselves a number one contendership match for the 24-7 Wild West Championship. Well, yeah, it's still a title. You don't have to be the number one contender to go for it, as you just saw with Monster Jaco. You know it's 24-7. It's anytime, anywhere. But it's still a championship. And here comes Trey Mysticality. One of these two men will go on to face the monster Jacoby at Royal Decree. Oh, boy. Second biggest show of the year. You heard Trey Mysticality earlier say he wasn't missing it. Trey Mysticality. I have never seen Trey Mysticality... Yeah, so this will be my first time seeing him. But this isn't the first time for me seeing this man right here. 
from Washington, D.C. Trey Mysticality has missed a few shows, as he said in his uh, in his little Olympic monologue Olympic earlier tonight. Medalist. American He's a special Olympic gold medalist. He's special, all right. Looks like he's won some more medals since last time we saw him, too. Oh, damn. And he's going up to the crowd. A fan favorite here. That packed house here tonight. <laughs> At no oh. apology. <laughs> and just like his cousin before him. Oh, oh you rough bestest. Those two are best buds. Ready? Ready? Ring it up! Right, well, here we go. Looks like the Mark Angelo's got a new red shirt. He's he he bought that with his uh his gold medal budget. <laughs> and there's a clothesline off rip! Going for the cover! Count. Trey Mysticality wasn't expecting that from American Angelo. Looks like we're going to get a bit of a Roman knuckle lock here. And I'm pretty sure Trey Mysticality is going to this, but... Yeah, up against the ropes. Honestly, I don't know. American Angelo sure has been... Uh, oh! Oh! Proving oh. people wrong as of late. I mean, you are right. He is a little stunned here. Oh my god! Drop kick! And a beautiful okay. missile drop kick there. Okay. Where's Ross? And a swinging neck breaker. American Angelo busting some offense here on Trey Mysticality. I was not expecting this from American Angelo. Kicks to the stomach. He's special, but once that bell rings, it's like biscuits and gravy for him. Oh, there's a suplex! Surprised he was able to get him up for that. Oh, what's he doing now? Coming off the top. And a double stomp! Pulling a page out of Jacoby's book there. Must be a huge fan. His childhood hero. Even though he's probably older than him. Trey Mysticality fights back with a big punch there. Takes Angelo down. Close line. Close line again. Trey Mysticality firing up here. Big oh discus lariat. He just killed the American. Turns Angelo inside out. We like both of these guys. Skull oh, right the midsection. Big thrust kick, kick up there. And a headbutt. Sends Angelo into the corner. Jumping splash. And he's dead. Down goes Angelo. Down goes Angelo. Down goes Angelo. What? Who? And he's dead. Bag out. Bag out, Kane. Who's Kane? <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be Kane. American Angelo on the outside here. Trey Mysticality. What's American Angelo doing here? Oh. Trey gonna go out after Angelo. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh into the ring post and turning him every which way. It's spinning him oh. stupid. Inside out goes American Angelo. Two! More guys, I need you back in. Awesome. Right back into the ring. I don't think American Angela knows where he is. Oh, what's happening here? Scotty. Super kick! Right to the midsection! And looks for that final kneeling super kick here. Got it! That could be all she wrote for American Angelo. One, no, no, no. two, three. three. He said two oh, instead of two. And ladies and gentlemen, Trey Mysticality is going to go to Royal Decree 2 and get a 24-7 Wild West Championship match, presumably against the monster Jacoby. 
Come on! Considering Monsters Kobe just beat Jason X for the title. Yeah. You really never know what can happen with a 24-7 Wild West title. Yeah. Like a hot potato. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more commercial break before it's time for Out CBW. No apologies. Maybe that. What's this? CBW has a new website? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. CBW has its very own website. On the homepage, you get all the recent happenings and the headlines to do with the channel, as well as a link to the merch site. Go and pick yourself up some merch, and you can see all of the upcoming premieres on the CBW channel, as well as a quick glance at the CBW's current roster and if you click that little button at the top you can go through and see all of the results from critical backyard wrestling since the end of the chaos era ladies and gentlemen please check out cbw's brand new website criticalwrestling.wixsite.com forward slash indiana And ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your main event. Is that one big black guy says? Jay Ellis, Big Man Camp, a match months in the making. These two ducking one another ever since Jay Ellis attacked Big Man Camp after his matchup at Bound for Destiny. These two no-showing one another back and forth. Jay Ellis would show up and Cam wouldn't be here because he was injured. Or Cam would be here and Jay just didn't show because the check bounced. This, that, or the other. But tonight, we will have a critical heavyweight championship match. Jay Ellis looking to capture that critical heavyweight championship once and for all. This is the interesting thing. See, and he's throwing two jackets into a fan's face. High fives are at the But now, it's going to be great to see these two just murder, absolutely murder each other. He is the CBW Critical Heavyweight Champion, Big Man Cam. Cam. Sounds like a flock of birds because he's ducking again. And his opponent. Sounds like we're going to try to. Maybe. 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 Seems as if Cam isn't gonna show up tonight. Jayla grabbing a microphone. Uh, hello? Okay. Well, it doesn't look like my opponent is coming. Like I said, it sounds like a flock of birds because he keeps ducking me. So, since I'm standing here with an opponent, he's not coming. Well, Festus, I'm gonna need you to count to ten so I can walk out of here without a fight. <laughs> With the bell, please and thank you. And just like Jay said he was going to do, make Festus ring the bell and count him out when the title be a forfeit. Exactly, because if he doesn't show up, it's a forfeit. Jay would win the title. Six. Wait, Wait a, a minute. second. What is he doing? We know it said he was going to be in action here tonight. It, it was. I assumed he was going to pull Holloway's mystery partner. Wait a minute. 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 W
Who the fuck is that man? He's too both assholes. Who's this guy? Who's this skinny little white guy walking to the ring? Read the shirt, buddy. Read the shirt. One of the hottest talents in backyard wrestling right now. Yeah, you look like you're burning up right now, too. You know, since Big Bang Cam's on here tonight, which basically opens up the door for an open championship opportunity, and you know I'm one to take a title opportunity when it's out there. That's crazy, because I don't know why you would think that. Why don't we go me and you? Oh, wait a minute. Don't you open no channels to me. I was originally in this match. So how about we go me and you one-on-one no DQ, since I wasn't prepared for this mystery scarecrow opponent. Why not? And it seems as if we're going to get a critical heavyweight championship match after all, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we knew we were getting a first match I mean, with Cam not showing up, I guess this is ripe opportunities for the pickings. I we all know ATK is never one to pass up on a title opportunity, especially if it's in the main event. Bring him out. JLS ATK squaring off for the Critical Heavyweight Championship, not a phrase I thought I'd ever say. In the ring with JLS, I guess I was wrong. JLS shoves him into the corner. Come on, Scarecrow, I'll tell you that. Boo. You know it's technical ability, and just like that. Beautiful go behind by ATK there. None of these guys. 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 Come on, get in the ring. We want Cam. I don't think they have a choice. I we oh, want Cam. Who's got a chance out there? We want Cam. We want Cam. Critical heavyweight champion. No disqualification, which means we got to walk out with a new champion. Oh, and ATK with a shot right there. I'm not used to, I'm used to calling oh, ATK matches, but not in a ring. ATK going to come out with that beautiful drop kick in the corner. Double oh. knee. Beautiful meteora in the corner there. I'm just gonna follow him out. Takes him right in the jaw. In this oh, no. This matchup is no disqualification and a huge chair shot over the back. What is that? Oh, and decks him right over the back of the head. That is a uh, tiki torch handle with the the canister of the fuel canister. Attached to the end of it, making just a metal mallet. Wow. And a frog splash! Beautiful frog splash off the top rope. ACK taking too long to go in for the cover here. Not used to seeing ATK throw offense like this. The Archer of Anarchy. The super kick under the chin! The Archer of Anarchy hitting a beautiful super kick on Jay Ellis. Now working him over in the corner. Big yeah. chop. You never chop a black man. That's just not. You, it's like headbutting a Samoan. You just don't do it. It only pisses him off. And I think ATK is about to get it received here. And with not having the shirt on, this is going to hurt. Yeah. Oh. Never chop a black man. Oh, oh, Green Valley Driver. Going for the DVD. Oh, he slipped off the back. And a huge back elbow! And both get her down! Who's gonna capitalize here? It looks like it's gonna be ATK. To the cover! Looks the legs. And a kick out by Jay Ellis. And slowly getting back up. Trade strikes here. And honestly, this no disqualification kind of favors Jay Ellis. Puts the, for lack of a better term, safety back into his... Oh my god, I thought he was going to pick him up for a powerbomb, but turns it into a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. He's also got to realize ATK thrives in this... One, two, three, combo faster! He's a multiple-time hardcore champ. Backyard wrestling community. And a hot shot there. 
dropping Jay across the ropes. Uh-oh. And a beast! Uh -oh. oh, my God! He's dead. Uh-oh. I, I don't know who... Who's we God someone was talking this. to, but that was their last gift. Oh my god! Yay. Oh, he's got these little chip. weapons? Yeah! Oh my god! Weapons! Deal on spine there. Oh my god! And maybe you were Don't right, you maybe the, the hardcore aspect of this match does favor ATK. Oh, good. Match ah! Oh my god, kendo stick shot after kendo stick shot. Oh wait. He about to Oh, I thought he was gonna about the bell clap with kendo sticks. He drops the kendo stick. Jesus! Oh Jesus! Weapons. He's got a light. JLS has a lightsaber. And ATK with a history of back problems. Where's Jacob? Oh, he's going for the kendo stick. Wait, burn out! That was a burning curve stop! Shades of uh, a one Wait, air oh, blade. Oh, oh, oh. Did you just think it was a No. Ah, he faked the crowd. Uh, what a dick. Hook it in. Oh! He's gonna hook it in and end this night. Again, oh, shots being thrown dick. here. What a dick. And Jay folds it over into a half crab. Yeah. Oh, and that's on the face of his back knee, too. No. Surgery repair knee. That's what he's transferring into. Cross face. And he's really cinching it in. But remember, no rope breaks when he rolls him up. One, two, and a kick out. DK perfectly on him. Oh my god! He killed him. So went for the cannonball. ATK had it scouted. He just died. He yes. just died. A beautiful step up in Zagiri. Even Jay Ellis had to say, damn, <laughs> on that one. And the cover. One, two, I didn't have to mention, there's a reason they call him the king of the kick, and he proved it there. Well, there's also a reason they call him the archer of anarchy, because he causes anarchy. He really does. Anarchy! Anarchy! I don't even know what that means, but I love it. Oh, no. For a close line. Broken arrow! I don't know if he necessarily got all of that broken arrow, though. I don't think he did. I don't think he... I think he was too exhausted to get there in time. Get his legs up and a kick out, and that just shows. JL is barely able to kick out there. Wait a second! Wait! Wait a minute! There's no way! That's your CBW general manager! Where is he? He's right there! There he is! Shove Dallas out of the way and he's going for ATK! He's out for blood, bitch! Final breath! ATK goes all the way out of the ring! And Fletch isn't done yet! Holy shit! Holy shit! Final breath on ATK! Karma's biting him in the ass right now! I mean, ATK made his first appearance by attacking Fletch and we haven't seen him since then! Haven't even heard from him. Oh my god! And here we go! Oh my god! What a Triple threat. Well, technically, it's a triple threat. Here we go. 
Oh, oh, oh my God. Well, that that didn't go too well for him. That's it. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no.